Hi everyone, welcome to this video. In this video I just want to go over the very basics of oscilloscopes. So what it actually is and how to use it and uh, yeah a bit of playing about with it really. Um, I'm no expert to oscilloscopes, I don't know everything and to be honest I'm, I'm new to it. I've had an oscilloscope for about a week, I fixed this one and um, I spent a couple of hours researching it and finding out how it works and testing it etc. So, to start with, what is an oscilloscope? Let's say I was to take a reading, 0 to 12 volts, and this happened to read 6 volts. Let's put this back. If you imagine, if you imagine we mapped it out on a, on a graph, and we've got a graph like this, I'll just draw this rough. We had a graph here, that's 12 volts, and that's 0 volts. So we read 6 volts here. Yeah? Then, let's say, a second later, this can be in seconds, we take another reading, and a second later, it's still 6 volts. A second later, it's still 6 volts. A second later, it's still 6 volts, and we keep taking readings every second, and they read 6 volts. Now, if you imagine that we took them more than a second, we took them every 500 milliseconds, it would look like this. If we took voltage readings every, um, let's say, 100 milliseconds, uh, 10 times a second, it would look like this, or something like this. If you took 1,000 readings a second, it would look something like that. So, yeah. So we're taking voltage measurement readings every certain amount of time. And that's what it looked like. And that's what the oscilloscope does. Okay, so basically it's a, a glorified voltmeter. Now, there is something cool about the oscilloscope. It's good at recognising patterns. And, um, yeah, I may go into that in a minute. But anyway, that's what an oscilloscope is in very, very basic terms. A oscilloscope, you can actually control... The timing, you know the uh, readings that I've just mentioned? You can control the timings of those readings. So, over here, I've actually got a control that says, uh, take a reading every 50 milliseconds, 20 milliseconds, 10 milliseconds, 5 milliseconds, and it goes right down to uh, very, very small time measurements. And then here, the, the axes, um, you can control how many samples per axis, or you can control how many volts are shown per axis. So now, I'm going to just demonstrate the use of this, um, this oscilloscope. Plug, my, plug the probe in there. Is that in? Yeah, that's in. Now, I can't remember if this is calibrated, but I, I'm going to assume it is calibrated. So this is showing 6 volts, so if I put this to, let's say 2 volts, I'll take a reading every 1 millisecond. Oh, that's looking better. Focus. Okay, so I've got this thing set to take a reading every millisecond. The DC power supply is set to, to output 6 volts. So... We're taking a reading every millisecond, we expect to see 6 volts, and I've got this set to show 2 volts per, per divide. So, if I apply 6 volts, I would expect the graph to come up here. Anyway, let's try this. So I'll connect the plus to the plus, and the ground to the ground. Oops, just disconnected there. And there we have it, so, yeah, as I expected. So, 6 volts. Now, if I start fiddling with this here, I'll put it up or down. You should expect the line to drop, and you can see it is. I'll put it down to 0 volts. I 
and you can see the line showing zero volts. Now I'll pull that back down and I'll change the divider. So I want it to show, um, I want the line to increase one block for every 10 volts. And let's try this again. And you can see what it's doing. 10.5 here, and you can see it's on the um, correct line. I'll put this up as high as I'll go, which is 31 volts, and you can see it's three higher than the center line. And that's essentially what an oscilloscope does.